Okay, the three saws we're going to be looking at today are the uh, Echo DCS 5000, the Husqvarna Power Axe 350i, and the Greenworks 82CS24. Um, these two are 18. I put this 16 inch saw in with these because the power and the other specs kind of put it in the same range of competition. So we'll take a look at each of these saws, uh, what they are and what they come with because these were purchased kitted and then we'll take them out and do some cuts and see how they stand up in terms of uh, cut speed and endurance and battery and all that. All right, so first up, we have the Echo DCS 5000. It comes with an 18-inch bar and chain. It comes with uh, metal bucking spikes. This kit comes with a 5-amp-hour battery. Um, it's a 3 8 chain uh, with a 0 0.050 cutting gauge. This comes with a safety semi chisel chain um, comes with this charger here this charger charges at a rate of 2 amp hours so this 5 amp hour battery would take about an two and a half hours to fully charge from empty and uh, that's it and it's ready to go so that's the Echo DCS 5000 Okay, next up here we have the Husqvarna Power Axe 350i. Um, that also comes with an 18-inch bar and chain. Also comes with uh, bucking spikes. It's a 3/8-inch pitch chain with a 0 0.050 gauge. It comes with a seven and a half amp-hour battery. That's 40 volts. It slides nicely into the side. This operates with either a regular mode or a boost mode which I think is 25% more power for all these tests it will be in boost mode the whole time um, and then this charger that comes with it puts out 1.6 amps so that gives us just under five hour charging time for this battery the seven and a half amp hour battery um, that's our Husqvarna Power X 350i. And last in the test is the Greenworks 82CS24. This comes with a 16 inch bar and chain. It's a uh, 3 8 pitch also, but this is a, it's a 0.043 gauge. It's the low profile. Um, this also has the metal bucking spikes. Just one mode, variable trigger. It comes with a 4 amp hour 82 volt battery and it comes with a 8 amp charger so it can charge this battery in a half hour. And that's the 82 CS24. Okay, a couple other things I did want to point out about these saws. Both the um, Greenworks and the Echo use captured nuts and uh, a scrunch tool to tighten the chain. The Echo actually has a spot for the scrunch underneath right there, if you can see it. Um, the Husqvarna uses uh, a no-tool tensioning system. Uh, for the for these saws, I don't see that as a negative, but um, I just wanted to point that out. And also, the manufacturers always list a weight, but it's not the weight ready to cut. So these will be batteried, full of oil, and I'll give the weights that way. So you know what the saw actually weighs when you pick it up and you go to cut wood.
I got my ass off. The Husqvarna on turbo. <laughs> Okay, same saws, same batteries. I think the Echo has three cuts. The Husky and the uh, Greenworks both have had four cuts. Just for the husky, we'll give it a break and kick over to the greenworks before we run out of log.
we can finish that cut with the echo. So final thoughts on these saws after cutting with them uh, and going through the batteries and stuff. The Echo is a nice saw. Um, I bought all these on my own. These two were new. This one was second hand. So I just want to mention that in case that plays into it because the Echo kept cutting out on overheat. Now I've read that it does that, but for this testing when it comes to cutting anything more than small stuff unfortunately even though the echo is capable it doesn't have the endurance like if you're going to cut up some firewood this isn't the saw um it's the most economical of all of them but unfortunately like in terms of endurance uh this isn't it um but other than that it was a good saw it's times were a little bit behind the other two but not much it's got you know it's got a nice thick um bar and the, the feel of it's pretty good when you're using it um the husqvarna was was see it felt the most balanced in my hands it's very uh well balanced front to back i don't know if it has to do with the position of the battery um and it was kind of the least input involved like if you just want to put the battery in and cut um you know if you bog down on the husqvarna it didn't seem to really mind it would slow down and it would slow the cut down but it would keep going um and it has 
you know with the chain tensioning it's you know the easiest in terms of messing around with that way uh but it it was a good saw it didn't didn't last quite as long or qu cut quite as fast as the green works um but overall you know it was it was good saw to use and for the money you're right in the same area the green works was uh, definitely the fastest chain speed and i think that affects the cut the the downside in terms of using it is you have to be a little more exact like if you lean on the green works too hard it cuts out and then you have to re-trigger it you know let go and pull the trigger again to keep cutting um, so you kind of have to find that right balance of when you're going down in order to get your best you know best time out of the cut it was the lightest this one felt real good in my hands too in terms of cutting probably just because of the lightweight um, only has a 16 inch bar where these other two have the 18 but for the most part that didn't really seem to make too much of a difference I did cut one piece of wood you know that 18 inch poplar and having to go back and get the other two inches you know held held this back a little bit it seems like and I don't know the the Husqvarna has that uh, X cut chain I don't know if that makes a difference either in terms of the speed of the cuts or whatever but these were all good saws um, but I would say these two were a little bit more on par and money wise too this with the Husqvarna being 450 and this being 500 the big difference of course is the Husqvarna took takes forever to charge it was like five hours to get a full charge on this um, and you can get chargers that are just as quick as the greenworks charger but it doesn't come with a kit it's something you have to pay extra for so um just all stuff to keep in mind if you're out there looking to get a saw those are the thoughts and what i had about these uh from using them let me know what you think throw comments in there suggestions um other saws etc Hope you liked it. Thank you.